Connie with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad that you could stop by today. Hey, we had a great time on Facebook Live the other day where I shared nine projects that I was able to create with just one sheet of the Cake Soiree Designer Series paper. Guys, I came up with an incredible tutorial for you for all nine projects, but on today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to create this wonderful little tea treat holder. It's got a little surprise inside too. So let's get started with our project. For our project today, we will be using the Cake Soiree Bundle. Guys, this one is so awesome because it's great for birthday, it's good for wedding, it's good for a lot of different things. And of course, it comes with a fabulous set of framelits. And I wanna point out something I loved about the framelits. You're going to notice I have the flowers and there's two of those. And then many of our leaves, here's two more flowers. And yes, you get two of each. So you're going to be able to cut out two at a time. It's a nice little perk to get double the framelits there. We're going to be using the Cake Soiree Specialty Designer Series paper. Specialty because you see it has that wonderful silver uh, shimmer on it. Really fantastic paper. Any of the papers in this collection will work, but honestly, any Designer Series paper will work for today's project. Now, I have gone ahead and cut one sheet. Um, I'm gonna be using the one with the Marina Mist, and I've cut that down into four pieces that are six by six. The first thing we need to do is we need to do some scoring on our designer series paper. So again, a piece of six by six designer series paper. I have my Stampin' Trimmer, and you remember we have a scoring blade and we have a cutting blade. We do not want to cut. So we're gonna move that all the way down to the bottom. We don't wanna run the risk of cutting. We are only scoring. So our very first score line, we're actually going to put the points of our designer series paper inside the track, up at the top and at the bottom. Line that up in there and then we can give that a score. I'm now going to take that score line and I want to move over half an inch. And you can see I can just line up that point in the half inch mark, holding that paper down and we're going to score. Now we're going to rotate this around and let's do that same thing on the other side. So just to recap, I have a score line right down the middle I've moved over half an inch to the right and half an inch to the left. Now we're going to rotate that cardstock. And so my lines are going this way and I'm going to add a line. I'm going to take the point and I want to line it up with the two and three quarter inch mark. And very easy to see here on the Stampin' Trimmer. And then I can kind of use that score line along this line here on the trimmer to make sure that I have it nice and straight. So with that at the two and three quarter inch mark, I'm going to score. Let's rotate it and we're going to do that again. I now wanna do a little bit of folding. I'm going to use my bone folder, but you're going to want to use it very, very gently. And you might notice here that I have accordion folded the bottom of that. I can now come in and get the score lines that are there on the outside. And now we're going to fold this together. And then, because we accordion folded, we'll fold these back. And you can see, now you can see, there is my little pocket. That's where my cookies are going to go. And I have a pocket here and that's where my tea bag will go. Let's talk cookies, yum yum. Guys, I love the Biscoff cookies for this. Any cookies really going to do. I'm gonna use my three by six gusseted cello bags. I just happen to like the size of these cookies. I'm going to pull out four of these and I'm actually going to use the gusset to help me. So I can slide two cookies into one side of the gusset. You notice I'm not going all the way down to the end. We're going to actually wrap these cookies around and that's gonna give us a nice finished off edge. So let me add the final two cookies here on the other side of the gusset. Now, I am simply going to take scotch tape and I am just going to wrap the cello bag around and seal that in the back so that we get something very pretty. And there we go. We're just gonna put some tape on that. So our cookies are ready to go. Now we need to punch a hole in the top and you'll probably notice there's not a lot of room. So we're going to wanna keep that nice and close. I'm just going to be using a standard office punch, quarter inch office punch. And what I want to do is I want to put that hole as close to the top, but remember, we don't want so close that the card uh, or the designer series paper might tear. So kind of be aware of where you're punching. 
and that's going to work just right, not too much. Now I have five inches of our Berry Burst metallic edge ribbon, and I'm going to just slide that through this hole. Now I've got another piece of ribbon, and this is 12 inches uh, of the Berry Burst ribbon, and I'm just gonna tie it in a loop and you're probably wondering why I didn't just tie this together. Well, because of this angle, what's going to happen is it's gonna to wanna to go wonky. It's gonna to wanna to go a little sideways. So I'm just gonna make a loop and I'm gonna take those two tails, those, those five inch tails, and we're just gonna give that just like that, there we go. So now that is tied, and can you see these are already wanting to go a little sideways, but this is gonna help me keep everything together nicely. So let's tie this in a bow. Our cookies can now slide in there. I found Twinnings tea to fit very nicely in the tea holder. I'm going to come in with a Berry Burst ink pad, and then I'm using the smaller flower that comes in the cake soiree. I'm going to be using the solid one with the squiggles as the negative. And actually, I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper because I want to lighten this color. So I'm going to stamp off once, then I'm going to bring in, I've got a piece of four by three inch uh, Whisper White cardstock here, and I'm going to stamp three or six, I'll explain that here in just a second. Um, but we're gonna stamp three flowers here. And I say six because you can decorate the front and the back if you wish, but if you'd like to only decorate the front, three is all you'll need. Stamped. Now I can come in with the swirl and we're going to just stamp these directly on top. All right, there we go. It's time to take these over to the Big Shot and die cut these. And remember I mentioned that you're actually going to get two framelits that are identical. So I can cut two of these out at once and then I'll come back and get that third. Again, if you did six, it would only take three swipes through your Big Shot to get those cut. Guys, I have a piece of old olive cardstock that is two by three and you notice all the leaves are on one die. Thanks Stampin' Up, we like that. Let's go run that through the Big Shot. I'm going to bring in a silicone mat just so I don't get glue everywhere and I'm going to be using the uh, multi-purpose uh, glue here. I'm just going to put a little dab here on the edge and I'm going to glue two flowers together. Let me flip that over and I'm going to put a couple stems right here. All right, a little glue right there and now I can add my flowers. And this last one lets use some Stampin' Dimensionals. We love that little bit of pop, don't we? So I'm just going to take a Stampin' Dimensional for my third flower and it will go right there. Beautiful. Now, I've already done this one in advance, but guys, this is very simple to do. I have a one and a quarter inch circle punch out of Berry Burst, and then I took a little two by two piece of Blushing Bride. I came in with the 4U stamp in Berry Burst ink, and I cut that out with the one inch circle punch and then just adhered that to the front. Such an easy and really adorable little gift. There's our cookies and there's our tea. What's not to love? Such a great little project. You know what, these are gonna be wonderful if you, oh, maybe have a baby shower or a wedding shower um, or maybe a tea luncheon at church. These are gonna make wonderful little table favors. Now, if you're a more visual person, there's actually a complete tutorial of nine different projects I created with the Cake Soiree bundle for my One Sheet Wonder. And what I loved about how this tutorial came out is you're going to have all the measurements you need, you're going to have the diagrams of how to score, photos showing you how to score, and of course the written instructions and lots of photos. I really like to get very detailed when it comes to my written tutorials because I want you to be able to create without having any fear of making a mistake. Of course, the complete tutorial is a 37 page tutorial featuring all nine projects that were created from just that one sheet of designer paper. Now, if you want information on just the tea holder today, be sure to head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the March 28th, 2018 blog post. I'm gonna have some photos there. I'll have the measurements for you, everything that you need. And of course, if you'd like to order that tutorial, just look up at the top for Let's Get Creative Tutorials. You can order it right there. Hey everybody, thank you so much for being a part of the video today. I hope you enjoyed the little tea and cookie gift today. I hope that you'll give this one a try. And thanks so much for being a part of Simply Simple Stamping. Take care guys, bye-bye.